Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm a physics graduate student at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. In my research, I study quantum non-locality. This is a fascinating phenomenon where quantum systems can become more strongly correlated than classical ones. These non-local correlations are impossible to recreate using classical physics, and as a result, non-locality can be used to prove quantumness of untrusted devices. This is very important in um, ensuring that quantum communications are secure. To study quantum non-locality, we take a black box approach and consider the probabilities of a system without making assumptions about the underlying physics, classical, or quantum. A Bell scenario describes a multipartite black box system. This poster introduces a Julia package called bellscenario.jl, which helps solve the computing problems that arise in quantum non-locality. The package combines the tools offered by polyhedra.jl and convex.jl with quantum mechanics to solve complex computing problems. In the left column, we consider non-local quantum correlations in a bipartite Bell scenario known as a CHSH scenario. The two black boxes named Alice and Bob have binary inputs X and Y respectively and binary outputs A and B respectively. Alice and Bob do not communicate but are correlated by either a shared random distribution or a shared quantum entangled state. The classical and quantum correlations emit fundamentally different structures. In the center column, we introduce the local polytope module for computing the Bell inequalities for the, the bounds of the classical correlations. This set forms a convex polytope called the local polytope, and any non-local quantum correlations lie outside of the local polytope. Bell inequalities are important because they can test whether or not correlations are non-local. In the code example, we use the local polytope module to enumerate the vertices of the local polytope, and then use polyhedra.jl to transform the set of vertices into a set of facets. We take the 15th inequality of the set of facets because it is formally known as a CH inequality and has a known quantum uh, violation. In the third column, we use non-locality module to maximize quantum non-locality with respect to the CH inequality. This amounts to solving a conic optimization program with the help of convex.jl. The main idea here is that we search for a quantum measurement that maximizes the distance from the local polytope boundary. In the code example, we show how to find Bob's optimally non-local measurement when Alice's measurement and the initial quantum state are fixed. The positive Bell inequality violation in the output indicates that the correlations are indeed non-local. Thank you for visiting this poster and enjoy your time at JuliaCon.